let us start with physical significance of gradient operator let us consider a psi field which is a scalar field Now, grad operation performed upon psi, that is upon the scalar field, takes us to a vector field and the vector is grad psi. So, gradient operator takes us from a scalar field to a vector field. Number two, grad psi being a vector has a magnitude and a direction. This magnitude is d psi dn, which is the maximum space rate of change of psi along n hat and what is n hat n hat is the normal or perpendicular to the psi equal to constant surface so if this is the psi equal to constant surface at any point this will be the direction of grad psi and d psi dn will be the change of psi along this direction which happens to be the maximum rate of change of psi which happens to be the maximum directional derivative in any other direction the directional derivative of psi is small in other words fastest variation of psi occurs along normal let us come to the third point the directional derivative along any direction say r hat is so it is the component of grad psi along r cap also another important relation follows from here and that is d psi is r cap into dr gives us vector dr number four let us consider a surface on which psi is constant so the so this is a psi equal to constant surface let us consider another surface which is very close to this one upon which the value of psi is also constant but the value of psi is psi plus d psi
So this is the normal direction. And this is the radial direction. The separation of the two surfaces along the normal is this length which is dn and the separation of the two surfaces along this radial direction is this distance which is dr and this angle is say theta. Now let us interrelate the rate of change of psi along these two directions that is along the normal along any other radial direction. The directional derivative of psi along r cap is d psi dr. And the directional derivative of psi along the normal is d psi dn. And the two are interrelated as follows. So d psi dr is is d psi dn cos theta and since cos theta is less than equal to 1 so this is the interrelation between the two directional derivatives this being the fastest one alternately The equality sign holds when r cap coincides with n hat. So then r is equal to n and theta is 0. So we can put these things in the figure. Now we mention application of grad. There are numerous applications. We mention a few. Let vector f be a conservative field. Conservative force field say. we can then define a potential V such that F is minus grad V minus is taken as per convention and conservative means the curl of vector f is zero and only then f equal to minus grad v occurs. So this is actually the necessary and sufficient condition for a field to be conservative. So this is one application of grad. In other words, we can derive conservative force by taking minus grad V we shall soon describe what this curl means second application is use of this result if vector E be an electrostatic field
which is conservative then we can define an electrostatic potential V whose negative grad is the electrostatic field if E represents gravitational field which is also conservative we can then express the gravitational field in terms of gravitational potential V here V is electrostatic potential and here V is gravitational potential we shall now derive grad psi in Cartesian coordinates so derivation of grad psi in Cartesian coordinates take psi as a function of we are using Cartesian coordinates so we'll take psi to be function of x y z then d psi is equal to To derive the expression of grad psi, we have to bring grad psi in the left hand side. Now this automatically happens if we use this relation. So on the left hand side, let us write this one instead of d psi. Now since we are deriving the expression of grad psi, this means we have to eliminate this dot dr part and such elimination of dot dr part is possible only if this dot dr part occurs on the right hand side also. That is, we will write something here dot dr now instead of dr let us write it in full form x cap dx plus y cap dy plus z cap dz in fact this is vector dr we note that here we have a dx here we have a dx we have pushed in x cap which is actually not there so we have to remove it and it automatically gets removed if we write x cap here because x cap dot x cap is 1 now let us put this expression here so del del x and this psi can be written here so that x cap dot x cap is 1 del psi del x is here and dx is here so first term is generated no other term comes in because x cap dot y cap is 0 x cap dot z cap is 0 let us next write y cap del del y this psi is already here so now y cap dot y cap is 1 del psi del y is here and dy is here so second term has been generated and no other term comes in because y cap dot x cap is 0 and y cap dot z cap is 0 
and similarly the last term z cap del del z psi so now we have z cap dot x cap 0 z cap dot y cap 0 the only term that comes in is z cap dot z cap 1 and then we have del psi del z here and dz here So let us quote it here. Now since dot dr dot dr is in both sides and since vector dr is arbitrary So grad psi is again psi is any scalar function so psi is arbitrary so So this is the expression of grad. In Cartesian system. Let us do a specific problem. Show that. Grad psi is perpendicular to vector dr. Let us consider a region where the scalar psi is defined and so it is a psi field. And suppose these are psi equal to constant surfaces. Say this is psi 1 this is psi 2 and these are constant values of psi. Consider a point P and let this tangential direction be denoted by r hat. Let us define certain terms with respect to this figure. What do we mean by d psi? d psi is variation of psi along r cap and what is grad psi where r cap is any arbitrary unit vector the radial direction and in this figure that r cap happens to be the tangent along psi equal to constant surface and the value of psi here is psi 1 and what is grad psi? Grad psi is the variation of psi along the normal direction to psi equal to constant surface at any point say at P. So grad psi represents variation of psi along the normal say in cap. Now let us use the formula that d psi is equal to grad psi dot dr. Now on psi equal to constant surface since r cap is along the tangent there is no increment of psi if we move along the surface that is along r cap this means d psi will be zero but the value of grad psi is not equal to zero because it is directed along n cap 
and it represents the maximum rate of change of psi along this normal direction. Let us use these relations here. So d psi equal to 0, grad psi is not equal to 0, and vector dr is this length tangent to the surface. at point P. So this gives us mod grad psi mod of vector dr into cosine of say theta equal to 0. Now since this is non-zero, this is non-zero, it follows that cos theta equal to zero. So theta is this angle, which therefore happens to be pi by two. So we have got the result because n cap is the direction of grad psi. So this means that grad psi is perpendicular to vector dr which follows directly from this relation.